एवरीवन आई एम मिसेस पी सुधा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के एस आर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस फॉर वुमेन तिरचंगूर नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स इन द टॉपिक इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द शॉर्ट टर्म विदउट सेविंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिकल थियरी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ नेशनल इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट डिपेंड्स ऑन द अग्रगेट प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन एंड द सप्लाई ऑफ डिमांड फॉर लेबर to show this let us assume that the economy produce one homogeneous and divisible good say corn let symbol y stand for the output of this good to produce this good we require two factors of production labor which we denote by n and capital which we denote by k thus we have the following aggregate production y is equal to function of k n In the short term, stock of capital, that is plant and equipment, is assumed to be fixed. The state of technology and the population are also assumed to be constant in the short term. This rewriting the aggregate production function we have y is equal to function of k n. The bar over the symbol of k for capital indicates that stock of capital is fixed. It is worth nothing that. Change in technology will cause a shift the production function. Say law of market. Say law of law of market state that supply create its own demand and each supply of goods or items creates an equivalent amount of demand for the goods. It works on the idea one good can increase demand for another. The law does define uh, define a possible scarcity of aggregate demand. say also known as as the law of market is the idea that by producing something of value that can be traded for another good one product stimulates demand for another the law of market state that the economy automatically adjust as long as there is a consumption of what is produced it is assumed that another purchase everything sold by one person say open opens that it is because individuals can buy the supplied goods and the implies that this ability to buy must have resulted from a period transaction and a previous sale keynesian theory of employment as per keynes theory of employment effective demand signifies the money spent on the consumption of goods and services and on investment the total expenditure is equal to the national income which is equal to the national output therefore effective demand is equal to total expenditure as well as national income and national output the keynes theory of employment was based on the view on the short run in the short run he assumed that the factors of production such as capital goods supply of labor technology and efficiency of labor remain unchanged while determining the level of employment therefore according to keynes level of employment is depend on national income and output the effective demand can be expressed as follows effective demand is equal to national income is equal to national output aggregate demand aggregate demand is a measurement to the amount of demand for all finished goods and services produced in a economy aggregate demand is commonly expressed as the total amount of money exchanged for those goods and services at a specific price level and point in time aggregate demand measures the total amount of demand for all finished goods and services produced in an economy aggregate demand is expressed as the total amount of money spent on those goods and services at a specific price level at a point in time aggregate demand consists of all consumer goods capital goods exports imports and government spending aggregate supply aggregate supply is also known as total output is is the total supply of goods and services produced with an economy and a given overall price in a given period it is represented by the aggregate supply curve which describes the relation between price level and the quantity of output that firms are willing to provide typically there is a positive relationship between aggregate supply and the price level aggregate supply is usually calculated over a year because changes in supply tend to lag changes in demand 
effective demand. Effective demand refers to a situation in which equilibrium output is determined solely by the level of aggregate demand. This is because of the assumption that supply is perfectly elastic. If there exists any difference between AD and AS, the equilibrium output will be determined by AD. In this diagram, we x-axis represent level of output or income. Y-axis represent level of aggregate demand. E is the point of equilibrium where the AD and the AS curve intersect. EG is the effective demand. Thank you.